Hello, this is Dr. Rosanna Moraru from Oculus Eye Clinic Bucharest and I'm going to present you a case in which we needed to explant an opacified uh, IOL and to implant a new IOL, posterior chamber IOL. Um, first, under OVD, we tried to uh, gently detach the, the synechia and the haptics uh, behind the iris. We uh, withdraw them from the space behind the iris and brought the IOL in the anterior chamber. At that point, uh, since we were not able to see the posterior capsule before the surgery, so we didn't uh, uh, guess that maybe we will have some problems with the uh, posterior capsule, but at a certain point, uh, as you saw with the red arrow, it was highlighted, a vertical line which was uh, almost certainly um, a line of the posterior capsule break. Uh, so we needed to have uh, more gentle uh, maneuvers under OVD behind the IOL and uh, on top of it uh, we gently cut the uh, the lens uh, in uh, three pieces uh, first of all one third and two thirds uh, we withdraw the first third of this opacified lens look how opacified it is and with a yellowish color and now we cut in two pieces the remaining two thirds of the of the IOL, paying attention not to lose these uh, smaller pieces, because the danger to to have fallen pieces in the vitreous is quite uh, big. As you will see, the the break in the posterior capsule uh, is quite uh, large. This is the second part with the second haptic, and um, because we didn't want to um, to make uh, traction on the vitreous strands uh, under viscoelastic we will perform a bit of uh, anterior vitrectomy in the anterior chamber in the pupillary area and only after we perform this uh, minimal vitrectomy we safely withdraw the last piece of the of the IOL we complete the anterior vitrectomy again in the pupillary area and in the space behind the iris. Meanwhile, the um, the pupil constricted quite significantly. Uh, with OVD, we managed to enlarge it and to visualize better the posterior capsule. The posterior cap capsule was uh, almost gone, so a large break in the posterior capsule. But in the same time, we noticed that the anterior capsulotomy is also very large. So we have only in the periphery um, this uh, anterior uh, capsule to serve us as a support for our future IOL. Um, we decided to put four hooks on the iris um, in order to see better the, the periphery. And uh, even if we implant a foldable uh, IOL, we prefer to enlarge this limbal incision to six millimeters and to implant this IOL unfolded because we think this is much uh, safer and more controllable implantation if it is unfolded than it was uh, folded. If it was uh, implanted folded, maybe the, the force, uh, the unfolded force uh, would uh, jeopardize our good and safe implantation on this large peripheral capsular axis. So uh, despite this larger incision, the, the, the implantation is much safer. We check again, the, the haptics uh, lie very well on, the, on this large capsular axis. We withdrawn the iris hooks and uh, close the, the six millimeters limbal incision with two 10 uh, sutures. This is how the eye looked to the first post-op day, very nice cornea and um, perfectly centered, transparent three pieces uh, IOL. Thank you for watching.